guys good morning good afternoon good evening it depends on the time you're watching this video guys today i'm going to freetown again i'm going to freetown again remember i went to freetown this in december month this month again i'm going to freetown so make sure you like comment share and subscribe stay tuned let's go Town. let's go I'm going to the junction to take a transport vehicle I'm going to Freetown I'm going to take a transport so guys I will see you I'm coming here I'm going to the city huh yeah I travel Lord Jesus says I'm going to surrender everything into mighty hands. Lord, I surrender my traveling the vehicle. You put the driver and your destination is sure. Jesus Christ, I invite your presence. Have mercy on me. Every mechanical failure accident I come against, I cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. I bless you. I give all the glory. All the honor, all the wish. As I'm going. Every mechanical failure accident. Good morning, Auntie. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> cover the vehicle I'm taking. I cover the driver of the precious blood of Jesus. I cover each and every one of us that will be in that vehicle with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, have your mercy on us. Have traveling mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the glory, all in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Guys, I'm at the junction now. Trying to wait for transport, as you can see. The noise. I'm at the junction now, guys.
Good morning. How are you all doing? Good afternoon. Good evening. It depends on whatever time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I want to discuss about why Musa Tombo only. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. As I was saying, why Musa Tombo is the only person that the pre the vice president awarded a motor car or a car or a van or why was he the only one well to my own honest opinion i think the vice president is biased because in my own honest opinion and guys remember this is episode one I'll come with episode two. I'll be interviewing people in the street, different people, for their own opinion of this. Why is Musa Tumbo the only person that the vice president awarded for scoring the first gold? Okay, that is what they say. They said some say because he's lucky, some say because he's the first to score the goal. Okay, in my own opinion, I think Musa Tumbo, he deserves it, of course, but likewise, each and every player deserves, <clears throat> each and every player deserves that gift also because as we watch the, the match, each and every one of them played to the, the best of their abilities. All of them put their efforts together, and like what they say, football is a how do they say it? Football is a collective responsibility. Is a collective responsibility. Musa Tumbo alone cannot score. He's not the one that scored that goal. He's not the only one. He was just opportuned to score the first goal because of how the ball was played everybody played that ball very well that was why when it reached to him he scored the goal so i think it's a collective responsibilities if from for me if they should have awarded anybody it should be Mohamed kamara mm kamara our super and hard-working talented goalkeeper i think he deserves it more yes because with god all things are possible if it was not god using him on that first day the first day that game was played between us and algeria they would have beaten us mercilessly. But all of them played collectively. And the goalkeeper was so, 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 so smart and awesome. And even now, besides me, international people are congratulating him. And so far as the game is going on, he has been the best in the whole game. Both for Sierra Leone and all over the Africa. He is the best goalkeeper of the tournament best of this year African Cup of Nation. I think if the vice president wants to award anybody he should be the first person to be considered because we all see, everybody sees how he played that ball, how he stopped so many goals from entering that, 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 that goal post. So Musa Tumbo, I'm not jealous of him. I'm not mad at him. I love him also. I was crying that the go the, the, the coach should put Musa Tumbo in the field. Yes, we were all crying for that. We were all praying for that. And by the grace of God, he did in the second goal. So I think Mr. Vice President, Mr. Jul De Jalo, please don't forget other hard-working footballers 
I think I don't have anybody to condemn. Even Mohamed Kamara has also scored the second goal. Without him, they would have flogged us again. So you see, everybody is important in that game. So you, you, what you did is to create jealousy among themselves. That is why, uh -huh, and that has made me to think that that is why some of them, when they hold the ball, when they were playing, some of them did not want to give the ball to other people because when that person scored the goal, he will be he will be the one to to be praised. But if they know that all of them are going to be awarded for each goal and will be appreciated equally, I think they will play the ball collectively. But if you just select a single person out of all the hard work others did, you select just a single person and awarded him a new motto, I think I don't like it. When you at least you should have share money to all of them so that the next time when they have that opportunity they'll make good use of it they'll play collectively but like what you have done if they go again for another competition everybody will fight for their own everybody will try to score the goal so they will not be passing the ball and we'll see that is why we, we are we are out of the tournament that is why we went out of the tournament because most of them I think maybe it's for that promise that you give them that anybody that scored the first goal will be awarded. If they were passing the ball, would have scored like up till now, would have been in that tournament. But they were doing stinginess. Yes, they were holding on the ball. They were not passing the ball because everybody wants to score. Everybody, everybody wants to make a name for themselves. But. I believe if all of them are treated equally, they work collectively. Look at Stephen Coca. Look at all of them. In fact, I don't have anybody to condemn in that game. All of them played their best. All of them played their best. When I see them playing, I was so proud. And I'm still proud of being a Sierra Leonean. They make our country to be proud. They lift up the green, white, and blue. Although there were hiccups, even like for uh, the guy that, what's the guy's name? I've forgotten the guy's name. That means the penalty. Mohamed, is it his name? I have forgotten. He also is tries his best. That is just a game. I appreciate them all. So we should not neglect others. We should not let them feel that they did not do anything because when you awarded Musa Tumbo alone, it, it, it shows as if, to my own opinion, he is the only one that plays the ball. So please, Mr. Vice President, we are pl I'm pleading. I'm pleading and I'll be asking, watch out for episode two. I'll be asking Sierra Leoneans in the streets to give their own opinion on what they think about the gift you gifted Musa Tumbo alone among all the Leon Stars players. Stay tuned. Love you. Thank you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.